you take you stay, you know, double header, you know, being able to go as deep as you did. You know, only one guy had to warm up, to go in. So I'm surprised you're taking that aspect. I really didn't think about it. I mean, um, I guess just the situation, the fact that still header day might be magnified a little bit more. I wasn't trying to put more pressure on myself in the game. I think it's just, you know, just an added benefit of it, I guess. But you're trying to do that every time. Exactly. Save your bullpen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, try to go as deep as you can every time. What was working particularly well today? Um, I located my fastball pretty well for the most part. Uh, you know, pitched inside enough to keep them honest. Um, that way they weren't able to just, you know, reach out there and sit on the stuff away from them. You know, early, early in your career, you had some problems with Detroit. That's, this turnover, I think the last three or four starts have been really good. Is there anything to explain what happened there for you? Probably just making better pitches. I don't think there's a magic formula to it. I think it's just making better pitches against them. What do you think of the effort on Kipnis' part to get that double play after the two guys get on to, to lead off that inning? That was a big play. Obviously, the play Lonnie made in the inning was a big one, too. Um, you know, that was, those were big moments in the game because we just scored three runs and then, you know, went on and walked the leadoff hitter. And, you know, to be able to just hold him to one run there was was nice to not let him, uh, you know, get right back in and tie or something like that. So it's always nice when defense can pick you up. I mean, your walk rate gets smaller and smaller over each of the last few years. Is there any reason why that is? I know you're throwing more strikes, but <coughs> yeah, other I mean, than the obvious. But just being aggressive, just trying to pound strikes on. Did you ever think you would pitch games where you strike out 10 and walk one, strike out 11 and walk none? That kind of, I mean, that's like, really you know, think about whether or not I mean, you, know, you look at, usually when guys are striking out double figures or walking a couple guys or doing something. Just, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to strike guys out, you know, I, mean, I think it's just, you know, to me, my game plan is to go out there and pound the strike zone. And if, if it happens to get some swing and miss, it's great. If it happens to get some early outs, great. Is this the best you felt, though, in your entire baseball career? I mean, you know. I don't know. It's hard to say. Mm -hmm. You're on quite a roll. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, keep building each game. Try to, uh, you know, keep it going. Not really rest on my laurels, so to speak. Just, you know, keep going about my business. How good does it feel just coming out of the break for the team to get two wins right away, especially here, kind of just – you get going on that right foot. Yeah, I mean, you know, we uh, we had a bit, we dug ourselves a bit of a hole that we had to make up as far as standings go, and hopefully, uh, you know, these two games are some momentum that we can build off of, and you know, hopefully, uh, continue the good baseball that we're playing before the break. You know.